During the hearing, uh, we also learned new details about the moments before this terrible, deadly crash. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes was in court and has been following the story. He joins us live from our San Jose Bureau. Zach. Yeah, the suspect was released from the hospital yesterday and taken straight to the Santa Clara County Jail. He was arraigned in court today on two counts of murder. Now, following that appearance is when the district attorney revealed those new details and what happened in the moments before that tragic crash that killed a mother and her son. Though cameras were allowed to take pictures in court Friday, that suspect, Duncan McQuarrie, did not leave the doorway between the inmate holding area and the courtroom. In a corner of the doorway, you can see the yellow shirt he's wearing and what appears to be a wheelchair. The CHP said he suffered minor injuries in the August 26th crash that killed 46-year-old Rebecca Olson and her 14-year-old son Charles Olson, who went by Charlie. To imagine the, the senselessness of this crime, the recklessness of it, and the tremendously horrible impact that it's had on this family is I think what's moved many of us about this particular case. The Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office said McQuarrie was speeding 100 miles per hour on the wrong side of Highway 85 for nine miles before the crash. Just some of the new details the DA's office revealed Friday following that court appearance. At one point, the defendant stopped his car and got out and walked around in the middle of the traffic. He then got back into his vehicle and continued to drive the wrong way until ultimately striking and killing a mother and child. The DA says McQuarrie is from Florida and came here to visit family less than a week before the crash. The Toyota he drove at the time of the crash was rented. According to the CHP officer on scene, McQuarrie was driving under the influence. Open containers of alcohol were found in the truck. The officer reported that McQuarrie showed confused behavior. That officer also noted prior convictions that McQuarrie had in Florida, including two DUI arrests in 2013 and 2021. There were also convictions for drug possession in 2021 and 2022. We've charged the defendant with murder uh, because of the reckless disregard for human life that he showed. Loved ones of the victims were not in court. In a statement last month posted to Reddit, Charlie's father called him, quote, my best friend, travel buddy, and the only person I ever truly felt at home with. Following Friday's arraignment, Rosen read more of that statement. If you're a parent, give your kids that extra hug today for me. The court today ruled that McQuarrie would be held without bail pending the next court appearance. That's scheduled for November 7th. Live in the San Jose Bureau, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.